questions that I think <coughs> is it now? Is it, is it time now for questions? It's time for questions. Okay. So if there's any questions, I'm happy to, to answer them. If not, you know it all. You know what direction you have to take. I have questions. <laughs> I don't. I don't want to put you on the spot. Maybe you can answer them. Give your opinions. No. About the vision of June of '04, the IFF and many of the people who the vision has not acted on that. Do you want to give uh, your <laughs> right. Um, so again, as we saw in the PowerPoint, there's various aspects of this legal aspect, this legal part of this struggle. One of them being a petition that we filed to amend the entry flow standard, so the commission has to establish a meaningful standard that protects and restores all those public uses. We filed that in 2004, and so far the commission hasn't taken any action. Uh, what's going to happen is that, much like the Waipoli case, we're going to go into a contested case, which is kind of a, like a trial before the Water Commission. Uh, and through that contested case process, the Commission is going to determine what those entry flow standards uh, are going to be. Uh, right now, we're looking at maybe the end of this year or maybe the beginning of, the, uh, of this year for the start of that contested case. Uh, if you look at the Waipoli case, which was probably bigger than this case, although, I mean, equally, you know, I think they're kind of equal range in terms of significance and size. Um, the Waipoli case took, was a nine-month trial. And so this might take a while, but through time we're going to get to the end of this. And as far as, far as the legal process goes, um, we're looking at sometime this year, maybe next year, where we're really going to get into the, you know, the, the legal struggle of, of what, you know, that issue flow standard. Just as an aside for entry flows, really, by right, the commission is supposed to, on its own accord, go out there, do the studies, do the investigation, um, and, and determine what those entry flow standards should be, without waiting for the, com for the community to rise up and say, look, do, it, do your job right. The fact of the matter is, the commission, like many agencies, uh, is understaffed and underfunded, they have this huge mandate for all these streams across the state, um, yet only limited resources. And so it does fall practically on the community's shoulders to, to again stand up and say, we want the commission to follow through on its duty right now with regards to these streams. And that's basically what's happening. It takes a while, but as we've seen in the White Holy case, where, the, where, where there was an actual restoration, the first ever in, in this state, it happens. It's going to happen sooner or later. So it's, it's, it's one of these things. There's many aspects of this struggle. The law is just one part, but, but we're committed, as far as first justice goes, to see that part all the way through. Does the 87 standard apply to the Waipoli case? Uh, depends on what, what uh, streams you're talking about. Uh, as far as these streams, absolutely not, because for a while now, decades, if not you know, a century or more, these streams have been drained completely dry. And so the status quo standards set in 87 is, is what you see. Nothing. Zero. Yeah, you mentioned that um, it's a agreement or report the OHA, USGS, and the county work together for an entry flow study with a three and a half year study. Um, what is the status of the, is it the moving forward or is there a holdup? Right, actually, uh, I wanted to mention, I don't know when I was discussing that, but those studies have actually begun. The USGS has just begun those studies and they're conducting the initial stages of the studies. studies. And um, actually, they've, they've come out with sort of like their initial report on what they've been doing, and they've made some really interesting findings as to you know what happens when the stream, you know, if they've caught some moments where there was some return of the streams because maybe the plantation had to fix their, you know, the, uh, their, their ditch system or whatever. Um, and they just happened to be there and were fortuitous. Uh, we're lucky enough to be able to take some readings and they, there have been actual helpful findings that they, they've gotten so far from the initial stages of, of the study. <clears throat> but those studies have just begun. And the key thing about those studies is that it would be really helpful if these plantations, if these companies would cooperate with the USGS and, and, 
and give the USGS what the USGS has politely asked for, which is, please restore some water to the stream so we can see the stream, how it functions when there's actually water in, in there. Um, the USGS has, has asked uh, companies, uh, you know, let's name them, Waiuku Water Company and Hawaii, Hawaiian Commercial Sugar, ACNS. Um, can you work with us? Can we have some uh, stream restoration, even on a temporary basis? Um, the answer, nope. It's our water, not a single drop. Sorry, yeah. Uh, this, uh, this commission that we supposed to regulate the water and all that, on this board or whatever it is, uh -huh. who elects those people they are? They're appointed by the governor. By the governor? Yeah. <laughs> um, not off the top of my head, not everybody. Um, there are two officials on the commission that sit automatically by designation. Uh, the chair of DLNR, who is Peter Young. He gets an auto he's automatically the chair of the commission, uh, the water commission. And then the director of the Department of Health, who is now uh, Chiomi Fukino, she's automatically, automatically on too. <laughs> right now, <coughs> there's also... <coughs> There's also uh, um, Larry Mike, Dr. Lawrence Mike, who used to be uh, on the commission when he was the director of health under YA. Uh, he's back on the commission, appointed by Lingo. Uh, and there's also uh, Stephanie Whalen, uh, Dr. Stephanie Whalen, who is a representative of uh, HARC, Hawaiian Agricultural Research Center which is just the current version of the Old Sugar Plantation Association. Um, and actually, uh, Meredith Chang, who is the vice president of AMB, which is the parent company of ACNS. Uh, and uh, James Frazier, I don't know his, his exact background, and, and another guy, whose name is uh, Neo Fujiwara. So did I name them all? There you go. Um, but an interesting thing about the commission is that historically, you've seen a lot of people who's appointed to that commission that are directly connected to the old plantations. Yeah. Uh, and it's almost like having the, the foxes guard the hen house yeah. kind of yeah. thing. Yeah. You know, um, and, and I think it's going gonna, it's gonna to hopefully change over over time. Um, and we'll, see improve, we'll hopefully see improvement there. But that's been one of the troubling things about our water commission. Who actually owns the watershed plant and how did they acquire it? 